So what if I came in and I asked to do a lookup on a node that didn't exist? Say I did something like lookup, lookup, 26. Now, a quick note, and you can tell my tree does not have a 26. I, I happen to kind of see that, uh, but we still have to go through and sort of confirm that. So I would start in uh, my node 50. I see that 26 is less than 50, so I would move down to 30. I see that uh, 26 is less than 30, so I would move down to 25. And then, just to kind of show it, I'd move down to see that I would get to a null node. Null node. So, in this case, since we're dealing with a splay tree, our, our rule is, oh, I, I access that node, I have to bring it up. But, since this is, is null, uh, I have nothing there. So what we actually do in this is instance is we find whatever the last node we were sort of accessing at that time, and that's the node we would move to the front. So in our case, we see that we would move 25. Now, if we happen to notice, just like before, I identify my X, I identify my Y, and I identify my Z. In this case, we happen to see that we're dealing with a zig-zig approach. I have uh, a left child from Z to Y. I have a left child from Y to X. And so, just like before, we would see that X, we would see that Y, and we would see that Z. And, as always, we also have those non-existent, well, not non-existent, but uh, we have those subtrees that may or may not be there. So, that this would be, I guess, 3, instead of that being, that would be 4. X would have the potential for a T1 and a T2. Now, the zigzag approach that we've talked about is that X is now going to become the new sort of root node in this situation, uh, Y will stay sort of in the middle, and then Z will become the child of Y. When we talk about the inheritance, there we go, uh, of these, and what subtrees go where, we would see that X would still have T1, Y would still have T2, and Z now, this is, ooh, Z, would have, in our case, T3 and T4. So, just as always, we see that uh, we have no uh, T2 or T1. We have no, that should be a 1, make that a little more. X has no T1 or T2, Y has no T3, and uh, Z has, well, oh, it happens to have a T4. So, we would put this into place, and my zigzag fix to this lookup, again, since there is no 26, I would use X, 25 would become my new parent, my new root node, Y would become the child of it, Z, 50, would become the child of it, and then, since I happen to have a T4, T4 would become the right child of Z.